Hello there, everybody. You are the audience. My name is Supersonic Blur, and welcome back to the next episode of our Pokemon Renegade Platinum Nuzlocke. Last time, well, we explored a little further along down the routes that we were on, Route 121, the Pow Park, all that area. It was a little scary, but we were able to go ahead and not only get ourselves another Pokemon, but also as well uh, beat Darak, which was a scary fight that I was very, very scared for. In today's episode, we're going to do two more fights that I am very, very scared for. Um, and yeah, hopefully they go as well as the last ones. Or we could be in some trouble. But that said, we um, have a little bit of stuff that's been done in between episodes. I sort of got the last batch pretty much all done, so it's been a little bit of time uh, since I've... Um uh, since I've properly, like, done anything here. But in terms of the things that you can see, the first one that's important, Rotom. I went ahead and I was like, how the hell do I have, uh, changed what type you are? And, uh, yeah, went ahead and did that. Right now, they're just in, um, in the fire form because that could be useful in a steel-type gym. <laughs> Go figure. Um, on that side of things. So the moves, it's now got Pain Split and it's got Overheat with Thunderbolt. It's really annoying. I can't teach this bastard Volt Switch. Um, because you just can't teach it. Volt Switch, Volt Switch isn't a TM, so that kind of sucks. But, hey, we've got that. Um, the Timid Nature is still really, really nice. Um... And it's pretty bulky as well, like two, um, 120 defense on both sides. Uh, ain't bad. Ain't bad at all. So I've done that. I could go for Rotom Wash or Rotom Fire, uh, Rotom Heat. Like, it doesn't make a huge difference, but we've gone and done that. We've also, whoops, also as well, gone ahead and taken Nefertem and uh, leveled them all up to level 48. Uh, in terms of moves, uh, just... I don't know right now, like, I'm trying to, I'm trying to find something. Right now, I've just got them with a bunch of, uh, just, like, a bunch of moves for, like, huge, um, uh, just, like, a huge move pool for things that it can hit and things that it does well against. So, that's the general idea here. Poison Jab, uh, is fine. Rock Smash is okay. Cut is okay. Crunch is good. Like, these two, I could put whatever there, um, and it might be fine, but... Those are just what I've got on the moves right now. The team! As you can see, we've got some interesting ones out. We have Sylvanas with a Life Orb. Reasoning. I just felt like bringing Sylvanas out. Just that, that's literally it. Like, Wood Hammer. Plus, um, you know, it could be really, really strong. A bit risky, but hopefully we'll be able to, to make some good eyes of that. Tapio with an Expert Belt. Same kind of idea. Leaf Blade's really, really good, so kind of want to use that. Narcissus, because they're a tank. Aglaia, because I love uh, the, the, the idea behind just like a really solid special attacker with the uh, with the Thunderbolt, Moonblast, and Psychic, so we got that. Nike with an XP share, because they were such a good XP, spare, uh, XP share sponge last time. I kind of want to do that again. Plus, they've got Fly, which is always nice to have. And the Korokomui is here, because not only is it a secondary tank, but it also as well has Surf, which we need! So that's the general plan today well we gotta head on uh west that's the way we gotta head we gotta head west so we're gonna go ahead west because we're back in jubilife city here because where we need to head now is over past route 118 all that time ago we first fished up our magic up now we come back here so much has changed since then it's almost poetic and beautiful and now Onward from here, we can surf, which is very useful, I would say. Definitely very useful. So, we've uh, we already got our encounter here. Unless we get a shiny while surfing through here, it ain't gonna matter. So, we'll go ahead and do that. I should also, as well, pull up the trainer list, just so that I've got those. Uh, that would be a smart thing to do. we got a fisherman down there, who I kind of do want to see. What have we got over here, then? I uh, I don't remember if I actually came here in, the, in like, the surfing thing that I did one of the episodes, but I think I have, um, vaguely, but it shouldn't matter a whole lot. So we've got two fishermen here, both of whom, uh, yeah, you know what, you know what, let's, let's, let's give Sylvanas a time. Outdoor fishing for the win! Shouting doesn't help me fish any, me fishing any, but I shout, but, uh, but shout I must! So, okay, you, you must shout, shout you must. Do it then! Who are you? 
Uh, Miguel. Okay, good. You're the right one. Huntail to start things off here. Swift Swim, Aqua Tail, Crunch, Baton Pass, and Confuse Ray. Uh, shouldn't matter a whole lot here. Wood Hammer should just, uh, kill. That's gonna do a lot of recoil damage to us, plus 10% of our health as well. So, we gotta be very careful. How much is that gonna do? That dealt 35 with recoil, and then we're gonna take another 17 as well. Whew! That's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. I did that to myself. I did more than 50 damage to myself there, but it's okay. Gorbis is in next. Swift Swim, Muddy Water, Psychic, Baton Pass, and Confuse Ray. I'm just gonna do the exact same thing. Woodhammer you. And that should do us okay. Yep, it does, because it's a crit. It shouldn't matter either uh, how much damage we take. Again, hit with recoil, but yeah, that's, uh, that's a lot of recoil. It's over 100 damage in recoil. Bloody hell. Note to self, be very careful doing this, because that's, um, well, it's a lot of damage. Ah, this is hurting. Okay. So, yeah, 104 damage dealt to Sylvanas, but it's fine. It's fine, you know? That's what, we, that's what we've got the super potions for, so we'll heal that up, and uh, we'll do that again. And then we've got the other fisherman over the other side. Uh, fisherman uh, Luke, I think is their name. Um, oops, that's, uh, what I want. I want to also just Orenberry. No, that's a Leperberry. Orenberry, use that for the 5 HP we need. So, yeah, the reason I've got, uh, Tapio and Sylvanas is they're pretty much just gonna be the two main ones we need, uh, in this instance. Yeah, yeah, nothing's biting. It's too bad for you. Is your name just Luck? Yeah, it is Luck. Okay, I've never seen the name like that before. We have a crawd on here, adaptability, knock off swords, dance, crunch, and payback, so all dark type moves. Um, it's a shame for you. I'm just gonna go ahead and use Woodhammer. We are faster, though, which does surprise me, though. If I remember correctly, I did put a bit of speed investment into Sylvanas. Like, health, attack, and speed were the three I kind of went with. Um, but that's Crawdon gone, and that was, uh... Yeah, about 60 damage, you know, you know, 50, uh, 56 damage, that's, that's quite a bit, but that's it, can't catch a break, can't catch a break, can't catch a fish, Oh, that's unfortunate for you, but not for me, so we'll go ahead and use the Orenberry, so I'll give it the 10, and then just back over with the super potion, like, we don't have to worry about, like, super potions or folios or anything like that, we have a stupid amount of them, like, look at this, look at this, look at that, that's, 200, let's just call it 200 by 200, that's 40,000? Yeah, 40,000 health points I can restore. That's unnecessary, I think some could say. That is an unnecessary amount, but we'll go ahead and just come down this way. Unless this is a shiny, this don't matter. It's not! I legitimately was like, oh my god, it's a shiny, but no, there are two variations of shell loss. And, uh, I rule state that regional forms differences don't change the Pokemon, it's still the same Pokemon, so you can't have a Ninetales and an Alone in Ninetales on the same team, because they are the same Pokemon. Uh, we got up here then, uh, I think, uh, we'll go to Tapio here for this one. Um, as much as Sylvanas, I've enjoyed running them in the front. We don't need to, uh, do silly amounts of damage there, so we won't. A man of the sea is a man of Pokemon. Okay, well, so I assume specifically water-type Pokemon at the very least. Skylar, let's see what you've got then. Starting off with an Omastar, Swift Swim, Spike, Cannon, Muddy Water, Earth Power, and Tickle. Uh, Tapio will have no issues here with the Leaf Blade, because it's four times super effective. And that's good. Did I fill my water up? I did not. Yeah, I did not fill up this water. That is unfortunate. I'll have to finish off the last bit of it. Come on. Come on. There we go. Don't fail for strength of the camera. That'd be awful. But now, nah, yeah. Bit of XP there. Relicanth comes out next. Zen Headbutt, Flail, Stone Edge, and Amnesia with Rockhead. Uh, again, four times effective. So, Leaf Blade might be pretty good. I do wonder whether or not Tapio is going to get much of a uh, time to shine, just because um, it's like a super uh, super fast grass type with a dragon typing. Is there anywhere I can find anything to do with that? I, I, don't, I don't really know on that option at this point. It's going to be rough, but Kabutops is last. Night Slash, Waterfall, Knock Off, and Mega Drain with Swift Swim. So that's fine. If there was rain, then this could be scary, but there's not, so we don't really care. And, again, Night Slash just does silly things. And that's very good for us! 
So that takes that out. And the nice thing is as well, like, part of the other reasons why I'm bringing out other Pokemon is, A, I want the type variety, like I don't just want to run like the same six Pokemon every time. B, it also as well means that obviously I can spread the XP a little better. Wants to learn the move Screech. Um, let me just, let me just guarantee check what Screech does. I think it just lowers defense. Reduces the foe's defense at 85 accuracy. Is it harshly? Sharply reduces the foot. No, fuck off. Should they give us Pokemon? Give up on Screech, for fuck's sake. Why do I need Screech? Why would I teach Screech when I could lose Swords Dance instead? So that Tapio could sweep harder and then have that plus two attack and be more effective against another Pokemon coming in than just lowering a Pokemon's defense. That, to me, doesn't feel necessary. Who are you? Uh, I think we will go ahead and... Yeah, I think, I think just Nike. Yeah, they get the experience on their own, but I don't know, it didn't matter a whole lot. So let's go ahead. Let's rock. This is the rhythm of battle. It is. As you can see, there is grass over this side of the water as well, but it's all the same route, so no secondary encounter for us. Quick tune here. Works out nicely. The, like, the way I do it in things is like, this whole route's one area. Um, and there's not like a defining like here's a cutoff line for all this area of new grass It's like here's the grass here's the water. Pff, that's it So it's not like oh, it's a new area with new encounters because otherwise you'd say you could get a fishing route and a grass encounter That's not how that works. That's silly, but cricket tune here Technician knockoff taunt heel bell and bug buzz uh, We can just go ahead and fly So whee, up we go Flew up high use taunt we missed and this fly should do um, a good amount of damage, and by a good amount, I mean it should kill, because it's super effective, and if it doesn't, I'm going to be sad. But it did enough! Hooray! I love Cr Cricketoon has my favorite um, sound of a Pokemon. Not like, as like a whole thing, like, oh my god, this is a great Pokemon, like, listen to its sound, it's great. Not like I think it fits, not like anything like that. I just think the sound's really great. I think that sounds awesome. Wants to learn the move Brave Bird. Ooh, I'd love to, but I can't, unfortunately, forget Fly. Can't forget HM Fly, which is unfortunate. So, we won't learn it, but Brave Bird is very nice to have. We can always go back to Pastoria and learn that, but anyway. So, we'll be fine. Next up is the next Plowed. Soundproof, Rest, Sleep, Talk, Crunch, and Hammer Arm. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and close combat this and hope we don't lose Nike in the process because if we do I'm gonna be very sad That should do a good bit. I mean we're six levels up Plus super effective and it's close combat. Yeah <sighs> Thank goodness for that Again, These aren't these are none of the uh, like the the, uh, the trainers I have to plan for it's the next two back to motherfucking back that I have to plan for. Can you hear it? This is my guitar weeping. Rightly so, it should weep. Uh, so that's that. Um, there's nothing this way that we need to worry about, so we won't. Um, we are gonna go ahead and move past here. There's this guy here who we have to talk to. Oh, that tea <laughs> looks awfully tasty. Huh? Can I have this drink? <laughs> tea, thanks. <sighs> If you want to go to Canalave City, you can go on through. I'll have this tea all to myself. Thanks again. Yeah, we have to go down to the power park to get the tea to get this, let this guy get through. It's a bit annoying, but we have to do that. Now then, Canalave City. We have to be very careful on some of the things. Do not cross the bridge. That is the one thing I know I should not do here. Is cross the bridge. So what have we got here? Hello, trainer. This is something I found. It was mixed in with a little cargo from another country. It's not anything I can use. So I think you should take it. Thanks. What is it? What is it? You know how Pokemon have their own abilities? Well, this move skill swap changes it. Ooh. Okay. That's almost useful, except not. Somewhere far beyond the vast sea, there are other lands populated by Pokemon and trainers. Yes. Uh, that's how that works. Right. Uh, what have we got here? Cargo port. Yep, that's fine. We just don't want to cross the bridge. Do not cross the bridge. That's the only thing I don't want to do is cross the bridge. Because if I cross the bridge, I'm going to cry. You! Pokeball that makes it easy to catch Pokemon of the same kind. That's the repeat ball. Yes. 
I should take a revive out to everyone training on Iron Island. I'm sure they'd appreciate it. It could be rough out there, especially since there's no Pokemon Center. Ooh, scary. Welcome, what do you need? What can I buy here? I can buy the same things I could buy before. Is there anything else I can do? See ya! What can I buy from you? What can I buy here? Timer Ball. I can buy Repeat Balls, but... You know what? I'm just gonna buy, like, 99 of them. Because, why not? Uh, thanks. There we go. That's fine. We've got Quick Balls. We've got a bunch of those already, so it's fine. We've got Timer Balls. We don't need ML. It's useless to us. So that's fine. Now, please, I just, I'm trying to tiptoe along, because I know that Bowery is on the, uh, on the bridge. Uh, so, I don't want to deal with that. And yes, it's Bowery, we're going to be fighting again. There used to be a person living here known as the Move Deleter. He had the amazing power to force Pokemon to forget any move. I've heard he lives all the way over in Orberg City now. Yes, that's right! The, uh, the, 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 the change to that for, for things is quite nice. Welcome to Canalife City, the Canal City. In the old days, this port used to be the hub of cargo transport. It did, but... Uh, what I'm gonna do then is uh, I'm gonna go ahead and change up the team for the team we will need for Barry And then we'll have an explore around just in case I accidentally run into him Okay, so here is the team then Taylor jr. Level 51 Jormungandr, Vulcan, Yumkash, Narcissus, and Nike all at level 50. You may be looking at this and going, hang on, aren't some of these very similar to how you did the last fight? The answer is yes, because the last fight is very similar to how I expect this fight to go, but with things like Vulcan now being a Metagross, having access to some good moves, we should be able to do that. So summary, I need to check over their moves real quick. Thunder Punch, Close Combat, Mark Punch, and Fake Out with a Life Orb. Guess what Pokemon Barry leads with, and guess what we're going to be doing here for this uh, for this fight. If you said the exact same thing as last time, you're correct. Yormungandr with an Expert Belt, Waterfall, Bounce, Dragon Dance, and Earthquake. They're really, really good. We might swap Bounce out for, um... Or we could swap Bounce out for things like Ice Fang, because they kind of hit a lot of the same stuff. But uh, that's effort, and I can't be bothered to do that. Vulcan here, Bullet Punch, Zen Headbutt, Medium Action, Earthquake. I need to replace one of these with... Um, uh, yeah, I need to replace one of these with Aerial Ace, but not Bullet Punch. Uh, Yum Cash with a Choice Band. Um, at this point in time, it's mainly just so that you know, I can get them in, make you turn do a lot of damage, and then bugger off. Uh, have a guess why I need to do that. So, that's kind of the plan there. Narcissus is burnt with leftovers because they're our tank. Nike is here because they're an XP sponge, but also because they have Intimidate and they can switch in with Intimidate. It's a little awkward just because of the, uh, the, 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 the typing and things, both flying, so if we have any rock type moves, we've got a problem there, but... Uh, we should be okay in things, and Fly is always going to be nice to use, um, as and when we need. So I will need to go ahead and just do one last little thing here, and that is this one here. I need to go ahead and teach Aerial Ace. And since we're not going to really need the Meteor Mash, we'll go ahead and get rid of that one. Vulcan is holding a Lumberry because I need them for one very, very specific reason. And if I can get them in before then, then that's perfect. But if not, then I just need it anyway. So, that's the team. We have that all set up. Now we just got to find Barry. But first, we've got a little bit more along Canalife City. Wah! Yes, the Psyduck there. My Psyduck is very close to me. This makes the move return powerful. Yes, it does. That's how that works. What are you? What are you? What are you? Harbour Inn. The text is faded and hard to read. The door is tightly shut. It appears impossible to open. Oh, that's unfortunate. So I guess then, this is it. I'm gonna absolutely double double check my things. Yeah. I'm, uh, I, I am assuming that it's gonna go the same way as the last one. It might not. I don't know. There are some changes to Barry's team. I should make that uh, make that clear, but well, let's just uh, see how it goes. Hi, Barry. Whoops! Hey, Blur. You're going to challenge the gym leader up past here, eh? Uh, someone should check to see if you're ready for this challenge. That someone is me with my brand new gym badge. Okay. Okay. Well. Let's do this, Barry. Same team as last time, different moves. Uh, Star Raptor, Reckless, Double Edge, Brave Bird, Close Combat, and U-Turn with a Choice Band this time. 
kind of very scary for us to deal with. I had a lot of options about thinking like, hey, what if I, uh, what if I trick it into using like a crap move and then set up on it, but what do I even do at that point? Like close combat's the best one that it could do and that would be setting up a ghost type. But what the fuck am I gonna do with that? So instead we're going with the tried and true fake out into thunder punch. And yes, it's still doing the same trick. Fake out into thunder punch because we want to make absolutely certain that that thing dies. Uh, so that and now thunder punch. Thunder punch takes it down and it's fine. Uh, a level 51 Taylor Jr. Uh, against that style Raptor. Um, it was without a life orb. Um, it wasn't. It wasn't gonna uh, with, with, with a life orb. Oops, that's not even there. But 90 uh, thing there. Oh, good he is. Yeah, with the uh, with that, it was a guaranteed kill with Thunder Punch. But like last time, what if it has a plus defense nature? Now it's suddenly not. Now it's suddenly not. It's a 68% chance, and I wasn't gonna risk that. But the Empoleon comes on in next. This Empoleon here has Torrent, Surf, Flash Cannon, Grass Knot, Agility with a Citrus Berry. We can go ahead and close combat this thing and kill it. Right? We can do that. Um, because, yep, close combat is a guaranteed over 190 damage. So, because of that, I don't have to worry a lot. Or at all, for that matter. The speed fell, uh, the special defense falls, that's totally fine. We are on 70% of our HP, if I remember correctly. Yeah, we're on 100, exactly, which is exactly 70%. But 72%, according to this thing, but whatever. Next up comes Heracross. Hello, Heracross. I did not expect Heracross. Oh god, everything's gone horribly wrong. Uh, Megahorn, close combat, rock slide, night slash. It sees close combat as a kill here. So, as a result, uh, we are going to go ahead and switch to... Who do I want to switch to for this? And does it matter? Uh, this thing has... Uh, if I find it... Where are you? Where are you, Heracross? Guts, Megahorn, Close Combat, Rock Slide, Night Slash with a Muscle Band. Um, I could switch to Nike here. And then, uh, and then we're just, like, avoiding Rock Slides and stuff. But a minus one, minus one... Um, it, it doesn't see Rock Slide as a kill, so that's fine. It only sees close combat. Why is it doing this? I'm so confused! But we want to go ahead and then switch to... We can go Narcissus as well. Narcissus just kind of tanks this thing forever and a day, and then it makes sure we don't see Infernape, and we'll likely end up seeing Breloom come in. Which isn't bad for us, in all honesty. We could do that. I think that's probably what we're going to do. Because um, we'll go close combat and it will lower its defenses for us. And we can just go in with a water move. Or we go to Jormungandr. Who can also tank that. <sighs> but do we need the Intimidate? That's the thing. I think... We'll bring Narcissus in because they're a tank. And they're not actually what I needed for this fight. So it's fine. It's really annoying. Barry is doing exactly what I wanted to do fucking last time. He's not now. Well, close combat here against uh, against us is not going to matter a whole lot. Um, that Heracross is also fine. So the Heracross is now minus one, minus one. And we are Milotic. And we are Fairy type. We are taking some burn damage, but that's okay. Uh, we are on 143 HP. 143. And we are level 50. So, yep, that's fine. Um, if I put these in the moves the right way, Scald uh, deals about half to it. And Moonblast, on the other hand, uh, Moonblast kills. We are probably faster than this thing. Uh, even if we aren't, it should matter a whole lot. So, we're going to Moonblast. We are not. Ah, we are slower. So, it's a plus speed nature. Good to know. Very good to know. That's good to know, though. That's very good to know. Uh, I was going to say, we're probably faster because uh, it's 111 to 101. So it's quite literally, it could be a speed tie situation. Um, which it looks like it is. And a crit there. That takes that down. What comes in next, I wonder. I do wonder, actually, at this point, what is coming in. Because I don't bloody know. <sighs> I hope it's not the Snorlax. I'll be sad if it is. But if it is, then we'll deal with it as we need to. Uh, as and when we need to. 
Nice, this is gets hurt by the burn. We could, if this, the Snorlax comes in, we can just set up a, a thing. There's the Breloom, though. Technician, Bullet Seed, Force Palm, Spore, Stone Edge, with a Focus Sash. We have brought specifically Vulcan to try and deal with this thing. What I am going to do, though, is I am going to switch around through Nike here, because the Intimidate will help a lot. If I can just get the bloody calculator up. Breloom. Barry's Breloom definitely sees, hey, Bullet Seed does a, it, it can technically kill here, it, it should kill here for, for, for them, and it could be, it's very close on the speed tie side of things, so if we just go to Nike here, gets an Intimidate off, it will want to go Stone Edge, which then means we're fine, um, it shouldn't go for Spore this turn, which is fine for us, we could also as well go for Nike with like, uh, the Fly into Spore into, throw it down, but, Nike is fine here to come in. Uh, the other option is we go straight to Young Cash uh, right now, who doesn't take a whole lot from Bullet Seed either, and then can you turn out into the Stone Edge as well. I need to check what HP Narcissus is at in comparison to what it can see right now. Uh, 97, we're at 54. It can't see Force Palm, it can only see Bullet Seed, and Bullet Seed is a guaranteed kill. Even with Burn, it still sees it as a guaranteed kill, so it's only clicking Bullet Seed here. If it's clicking Bullet Seed, we want to go to Young Cash. Uh, most certainly, Young Cash here, because even at 5, it doesn't kill. Even if all 5 crit, we're still much faster than it at level 50. With a Choice Banded, um u-turn we can break the sash and go straight to vulcan to avoid the stone edge let's do that that's the plan that's the idea that's what we're going for it should not go for spore and if it does then that's totally fine what we just lost someone hooray it saw a crit roll goodbye young cash i'm so sorry <sighs> what is barry's choice on this breloom i don't understand I really don't understand. Well, that's Yum Cash gone. Great. Why did it see on Narcissus Stone Edge? Bullet Seed? Bullet Seed's the better roll. It's what if it what? I don't understand. How at 54% HP is it seeing Stone Edge as the better move? So confusing. So confusing. Either way, we've now got uh, Vulcan in, in this situation, who is definitely faster than it. Um, unless it's faster than us, but it doesn't matter. Um, in which case, then we've got the Lumberry and it should be fine. It can't do that much to us, so we can Aerial Ace into Bullet Punch this thing down. Aerial Ace goes off. If this thing goes for Spore, then it's fine. I don't understand what Barry's Breloom is all about. Like, what the fuck? I'm so concerned. But if it goes for Spore here, we've got a Lumberry, so it's fine. That's the whole point of it, and then we can Bullet Punch it. It does use Force Palm, though, so that's fine. Um, that will do about 40% to us, unless it crits, which it fucking did. Okay, that hurt a lot. Now we can just go Bullet Punch here, and we kill. That's it gone. Okay, and I should know what's coming in next, because it's pretty obvious. Um, when we've got a steel type in. Jesus Christ. Okay. Yeah. I'm very upset with that uh, with, the, with that situation, but Arcanine comes on in, and this is very nice for us. Clear body prevents um, the, the Intimidate here, but the Arcanine, Flare Blitz, Extreme Speed, Crunch, Close Combat with an Expert Belt. It will want to see click Flare Blitz here, because that's its best move. So what we are going to do is we are going to switch to Jormungandr here, and Jormungandr here is to wall this thing. Just entirely wall it. And that will be good for us. So yes, with that, the Intimidate cuts down its attack as well. It's going to go for the Flare Blitz. Wow, it does a lot of damage. But we should be fine here. As you can see, it does barely any damage. Even if it burns, we've not got too much of a problem. Um, I am, however, going to waterfall it down this turn. Because I don't want Flare Blitz. I don't know if Flare Blitz can, uh, can burn. I'm not sure if it has a chance to burn. So I'm just going to look that up at this point. Uh, yeah, 10% chance to burn the target. I don't want to roll that. Because if I roll that, we're fucked. So, instead, we will just click Waterfall now. 
We'll click that waterfall, and this will kill with the expert belt that we've got. I'm so sorry, Young Cash. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Which means I would have been screwed if I went to Jormungand as well on that, because I wouldn't have been able to stick in for the Flare Blitz to deal with this. So that was quite literally the only way we could have dealt with that, because no one takes the Stone Edge. Is that perhaps what it is? Is he saw... Hang on. Did Barry see my Infernape go, I can kill this with Bullet Seed, but if you switch to your Infernape, Bullet Seed does nothing. Stone Edge can still do a lot, so I will use Stone Edge, hope for the crit, and if you bring in your Infernape, it will kill it. Is that what he's seeing? Because that's the only thing I can think he's fucking seeing. Ay 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 ay. Finally, then lastly, the Snorlax comes on out. We've gotten out a ton of spots in this plenty of times before. Not against me, you fucking haven't. Thick fat, curse, body slam, crunch, slack off with leftovers. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and probably like two tap this thing, I think. Because it's gonna wanna set up curse here on the first turn. I'm pretty sure of that. Uh, where are we looking here? We've got, um,. Uh, yeah, Snorlax, Barry Snorlax against my Gyarados here. Um, we don't need the Intimidate proc, but we're level 50. Um, technically bounce is more damage, but I don't want to risk it. Um, the other thing that we can do is, um, we can just set up a lot of damage. I think that's probably the safest thing to do. Uh, so we'll go ahead and do that. We're just going to Waterfall this turn. Um, because he's likely going to set up a curse. And if he doesn't, he's going for Body Slam on hoping for Paralysis. But I don't know. Either way, that dealt less than half. That dealt way less than half. There's the Body Slam, which puts us at 58. Uh, okay. So we're at 58 HP. Uh, that is 37%. That means Body Slam can kill. <sighs> the question is, is, is going to Nike worth it? I think it might be. Let's have a look at Vulcan here. Vulcan, that's Aerial Ace. Right now, um, that's at like 60%, or so, oh, it's at like 70%, let's say, after all of that. So it's about 70%, and that's about right. Um, and Body Slam deals about 14% to us, but it could paralyze, which could be a problem. At that point, it'll be going for Crunch. Ooh, that's a thing. That's a thing. It'll be going for crunch. Can Infernape take a crunch? Yes, it can. And it can kill with close combat. It can not reliably take... It can... <laughs> if Taylor Jr.'s at exactly 100 HP. You know, it's at exactly 100 at level 51. So it's at exactly 100 HP. It can take the body slam, but it could paralyze. So I think if it goes, for, if it, oh, no, I think we play through Nike. I think we just play through Nike, and we do it this way because it's super safe. Then we go through Nike, we get an intimidate off. So it's at minus one, and that's that's fine. If it goes for ch curse, then it'll be I'll be uh, upset, but it probably won't. It will go for the body slam. There it is. Body slam now deals a lot less damage to us. Still a lot, but now we're paralyzed, so that's fine. Nike here. Uh, yeah, Nike here. Could do it at para uh, paral uh, paralyzed, but it would be a it'd be a roll. Yeah, paralyzed. We're at 70 speed, but that thing's fairly slow. Let's go ahead and put it at 80%. Uh, Close combat. Um. Yeah, let's go ahead and say that it's at 72%. Let's go ahead and say that. 72%. Close combat is a guaranteed kill under 75% health. Uh, assuming that it's not got a plus defense nature. A plus defense nature would mean that it's difficult a chance to kill. And at minus one defense. 97 there. We would survive a body slam. One. But at that point, then we are in trouble and have to switch to uh, and have to switch out. 
uh, to like Narcissus or something. Um, it's that or we go for Roost and try and heal, but I don't think there's any reason to do that. We could click Facade here, which also could potentially do a lot for us and doesn't put us into um, issues with close combat here. Which I think might be the better option. So let's try Facade. I think that's... <sighs> Is that or we go back to Jorfangander for a second Intimidate? And try and Intim this thing down. But I'm going to just click Facade and send it. It set up a curse though, because it saw the Intimidate. So it's a plus one defense now, and minus one speed. And yeah, okay, it's fine by me. Plus one defense is a little annoying, but that's a lot of damage. It's likely gonna go slack off this turn. It's likely gonna go slack off this turn. We're not done yet. Neither me nor my Pokemon has given up. Okay, um, the other option is we pivot back to Yormungandr, make it go to minus one, and then Body Slam doesn't kill. That's the other option here. We could risk going straight back in. I'm just concerned that he's going to slack off this turn. Because if he slacks off, then it w it's a waste of time me being with Nike. I'm going to risk it. I'm going to risk Jormungand here. And that's very scary. But we get the minus one on the Intimidate. So it only matters if he crits Body Slam here. Because Body Slam can't kill now. But he does get the Paralysis! No! Oh, that's so bad. Oh, that's so bad. That's so bad. That's so, so bad. Because I don't want to risk that at this point. <sighs> yeah, I really can't risk that. Because we can kill, but if we're paralyzed, we're fucked. Yeah, if we get paralyzed here, we just, with your 10%, we just die here, regardless of what he does. Like, we can, we can kill. Oh, it's, oh, I don't even know if we can kill, that's the problem. Earthquake and Waterfall don't seem to do enough. Hmm. Okay. You know what? I think, I think we have to try and risk Nike here, uh, and, 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 and bring them back in. Because I reckon they'll go for another curse, and we're on minus two, so they're still at minus one, and that'll be fine. But the Intimidate comes through, minus two now. Uh, God, this is rough. It went for a Body Slam again. Don't crit, and we're fine. 52 damage. Okay, we're at 52 health. We're at 36%, and at minus 2, Body Slam can't kill, Crunch can't kill. I think that, uh, that HP, we click close combat. I think we just click close combat here. Oh shit, I had that when it was bold. Oh my fucking god. I should not have looked at that when it was a bold nature. I should have looked at it when it was uh, impish nature. I'm so very stupid. That possibly could have this there is one roll now that can kill here one roll that can kill and it's only a max roll here which means he might not see it so we're gonna go for close combat we got it 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 i came out of that with only one death and i don't know how i legitimately don't know how how that went off i don't know but it did holy shit okay 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 that was really rough that was really, really rough. We lost Yumkash, which is unfortunate, because I didn't really got a proper chance to use them. <laughs> they were a special attacker, a super fast special attacker. That's unfortunate. Yeah, yeah, you're just a bit better than me as usual. Why did you click Stone Edge? I don't know. But listen up. Let me tell you who's going to take on the Pokemon League and become the champion. You guessed that right. It's going to be me. Anyway, you should go to Iron Island and toughen up some more. Yeah, train at Iron Island. That's what I did before going to the gym. Well, that's what I'm going to have to do before going to the gym. But first, we have to do one important thing. It's been 
very, a very, very long time. I think like 30 episodes without a death, or close to 30 episodes without a death, but it happened. It has finally happened, and it still hurts. Yunkash, you were there to do one specific thing, and I'm so sorry that you couldn't do it. I'm so, so sorry. Could I have switched straight to the Metagross? Yeah, I could have probably done that. Like, if I'd have, if I'd have gone straight to Vulcan on Barry's Breloom, on Barry's Breloom here, uh, at level 50, at level 50, yeah, Bullet Seed hitting all five deals 40% damage. And we'd have been fine. We'd have been fine. I could just area laced and we'd have been fine. But I wanted to get fancy with it. I didn't even need to do it. Like, legitimately, I didn't even need to do it. Yunkash was there as a backup for something. I could have just brought in Breloom. But I didn't. And that cost me. That hurt a lot. And I still first have no idea why it saw Stone Edge as a kill. Either way, Barry, well played. You've taken one member of my team. And I fucking hate you for it. I'm sorry, Yunkash, but I think you were pretty much past your prime uh, with stuff. Like, you were amazing. You had really good speed, really good special attack, but Air Slash just wasn't going to cut it. Giga Drain was a bit scary. Sleep Powder. You were there. Still, though, that's that dealt with. Now, I've got to go ahead and change up the team for another fight. And this is what the team is going to look like. We're going to have Umi Bozu here at level 52. They're going to be holding a Citrus Berry. We are basically going to do exactly what we did with uh, Shell Armor. We're going to do that exact same thing again. Battle Armor, Swords Dance, Swords Dance, Swords Dance. Leech Life, Leech Life is going to be kind of disgusting here. Leech Life giving us back a huge amount of health. I have Rock Tomb over Rock Slide just because that might be necessary, but it shouldn't matter a whole lot here. Vulcan is here because they're really tanky and can be um, something that we can use. Now, since this is a tank, I need to reburn them, but that's it. Pax, I'm going to put a level 50 uh, as well. Um, and that'll be okay, and Nike's just here as an XP sponge, just in case, because I cannot afford to have Umibozu over-level. Um, technically, they shouldn't. I've calced it like all the XP should be about 6,000 if they sweep the entire place, but I just want to make absolutely certain here. It's also why we're not using Shalama to do this. Shalama could do this. The problem is they have 4,300 experience remaining, so I would not be able to sweep all of them. I'd be able to get through five, and then I've got to switch them out, and I do have to switch them out because we're not in the gym leader battle. So that's how that works. So quickly, I will go ahead and just burn Milodic, and then we'll make our way over towards the Iron Islands. Okay, and with that, we now have our burned Milodic. I, uh... I'm not gonna lie, that kind of threw me a little bit for a loop here. And as you can see, we do have to go to the Iron How's it going, champ to be? The gym leader isn't here right now after our last challenger bolted off. Byron went over to the Iron Island for a break. You can go over there and look for him if you'd like. Take this, uh, just talk to Eldridge. He's the sailor at the port. Should, uh, some training in too. Iron Island is a popular spot for it. It is, I'm sure. The gym leader and trainers in this gym often go out to Iron Islands. They're not the only to train their Pokemon, but they work there as well. Very nice. We've got this side of the world to see. And that'll be okay. Uh, you. Hello, I'm with Jubilee TV. May I hit you up for a quick interview? Sure. Thank you very much. Let's not waste any time. Please select your favorite Pokemon type from this list. Um, I'm kind of... I mean, if I go by my favorite, it's fucking Fairy Steel, which is unfortunate because that's like a really, like, cringe typing. Um, I, I'm, I'm, I'm quite partial to some of the... Um, uh, to some ice types, so let's see what happens. We feature in this interview, not going program. Okay, well, that was useless then. Thanks, like, I just picked one at random. Uh, what are you? Sailor Eldridge's house, that's fine. Kind of, uh, kind of like Doc. What else have we got up this way just before we head in next? There's another house over here. What was this? The library. Well, maybe we could find something in here that'll be useful. Hello, this is the Canada Library. We're probably on the premises. Of course, yes. What is it? Please don't disturb me when I'm reading. Oh, my apologies. Um, yeah, I guess that was a bit weird of me. Oh, God. Hmm. What have you got to say? 
The books on the third floor are easy to read. The ones down here are tough, too tough for me to understand. That's too bad. Have you got anything for me? No. Um, please refrain from bringing food or beverages into the library. Of course, of course. Um, what are you? Someone's always checked out the book I wanted to read. Is there literally nothing here? Are you gonna- can you give me something? Every book contains someone's memories of a precious value place and time. Libraries are this building where books are kept, you know. There were different places and times are gathered together. Okay. That was useless. What's the point of coming here? I mean, I don't know. I- I- I'm slightly trying to delay the ne the inevitable, but... Um... Yeah. I, uh... I'm a little scared, I'm not gonna lie. We will have to, as well, go ahead and throw some repels on, because Iron Island is a new spot. Do you want to set sail for Iron Island? Yes, anchors away. We will have to, uh, go ahead and set up repels, because much like with, um... Kid and whatever the, um... Um... Uh, the one in Eternal Forest and the one in the cave area. Um... I don't want to double battle here. So, that's fine. If I have a look at Iron Island, uh, when it comes to Iron Island, um, Iron Island, well, first of all, we've got Cantalave City as well, which we'll do at the end of the episode. Uh, we can fish here. Um, uh, no, I don't think I will. I think I will go for, um, for just a regular encounter, um, because there's, there's no reason not to. Um, and then we'll go back and get Cantalaves in a bit. Um, because we can only fish there, we've got two encounters there. So that's fine. Um, what I need to do is, or I want to see is, what's this? Um, you are, yeah. Hmm, who are you? Ah, that's Orberg's gym badge, I see, I see. So you've defeated my son, Roark. You must be a trainer aiming for the Pokemon League. I guess. Aye, Byron, and the next one you must overcome. Oh, so you haven't explored Iron Island yet, have you? Take some time doing some training there while you're on the island. Come see me when you're done exploring underground. <laughs> yeah, you have to actually do Iron Island in this game as well. Um, which is a thing. Um, and we have to fight here. So, Pokemon. Let me go over absolutely everything. Ah, ha 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 ha. I think, ah, yes. Taylor Jr. needs a change. I'll be right back. Okay, I am back. I've also put packs at level 50 as well. So, summary, absolute triple triple checking here. 170 attack, battle armor with a citrus berry, we need that, so that's fine. Rock Tomb, Leech Life, Waterfall, Swords Dance. Vulcan, Aerial Ace, Bullet Punch, Zen Headbutt, Earthquake, with an Expert Bell, need that. Leftovers, Narcissus, who's burnt, need that. Wise Glasses, Pax, that's fine. XP Share, Nike, that's fine. Taylor Jr. now has Fire Punch over, um, uh, over the other one. Uh, Thunder Punch, just because it's stab and will be more useful in this uh, scenario, so that is the reason for that. <sighs> Let's do this then. You are... Oh, okay, you're Blur. I'm Riley. I'm a trainer as well. Anyway, it's always nice to meet another trainer. If it's alright with you, I'd like to challenge you to a battle, right now. Yeah. <laughs> Riley, a very scary trainer, starts off with an Absol, Super Luck, Night Slash Psycho Cut, Mega Horn, Play Rough with a Scope Lens. Not fun, not fun at all. So we're gonna Swords Dance here. Set up the Swords Dance. And if I just make sure that I... Okay, when Psycho Cut, interesting. That's good for me, because that's not the most damage. That's actually very good for me, because I was expecting Megahorn to be the most damage. Where's the calc? Where's my calc? Okay. <laughs> Where's the calc? Right, okay. Uh, so yeah, Riley. Uh, Riley's Absol. Oh. <clears throat> uh, I need, uh, Umibozu here at level 52, and that's Leech Life. I, I spent a lot of time looking how I wanted to do this fight. Um, um, with this. And it was pretty much just, I need some way to deal with crits, and Battle Armor <laughs> deals with crits, um, quite nicely, so, <clears throat> yeah, we're at 102 health, uh, which dealt 77. That might be the, uh, 77%. Okay, um, by the looks of it, this Absol is a minus defense, uh, or minus attack nature. 
because I have it here that Absol should be doing uh, uh, with Night Slash should be doing at least 45 damage. So this is really good for us, actually. We'll see again on the second one, just to make absolutely certain how this goes. It can't crit us, so we're no problem there. It does now go for Mega Horn, which dealt max damage there. Uh, uh, yeah. Okay, so we're at 80 HP right now. That's 60%. It cannot kill us. It cannot kill us no matter what it does. We're gonna Swords Dance again. We're setting up the whole way because leech life on a dark type We're gonna get back 50 more than 50% of our HP here goes to the mega horn again Drops us down to by 58 That's pretty good. I don't know if this is a minus attack nature now. I don't know either way We're definitely faster than it. So leech life here As long as we don't miss that we just got back 51% of our HP so, yeah, we get back about 69 health. This should put us at about, yeah, 90. Okay, we're at 90 HP. That's really nice. That is 68%. That's really good, and we're at plus 6. We're at plus 6 with 68% uh, with health. That's really nice. Lucario. Okay, this Lucario is Adaptability Life Orb. High jump kick, medium ash, blaze kick, bullet punch. Bullet punch can't kill. Waterfall will kill. Um, regardless of what this thing is. If it's fast, it doesn't matter. But uh, we can just kill with waterfall here. So we will. Waterfall kicks it out. High jump kick doesn't matter if it would do 50% crash damage. It won't. It can't. This is 200% damage. And it's gone. Good. That's good. That's very good. That's very much needed good. That's the 1000 XP. That was the big one I was worried about, but Nike's going to absorb a lot of it as well. What's in next? Metagross comes in next. This Metagross here. Medium Ash Earthquake, Zen Headbutt Agility, a Leechy Berry, and Clear Body. Uh, again, Waterfall kills here. Uh, I'm not going to risk anything with the agility going to plus two because that's just too fast for us to try and deal with and there's no reason for us to do that. We just click waterfall here. Even if this thing is a plus defense nature, uh, it, it will say it's impish for the sake of uh, things, it's still 125%. So we just click waterfall. <sighs> yeah. This is good. This is okay for us. This is very much okay for us. We still have leech life as well in the back pocket if we need to get some health back, but I would rather get a guaranteed kill than worry about that. So that's the Metagross dealt with, which is fine by me. Okay, that's good. It's very good. Next up, Ursarang. This is a fun one. Strength, close combat, play rough, and protect. With a flame orb, it's, I mean, it's pretty much going to go for, um, uh, for, for, um, uh, protect it. It might go close combat. Either way, I'm gonna click Leech Life here because both Leech Life and Waterfall deal well over 100%. So I'd rather get that health back. Yo! The close combat! You saw close combat, you cheeky shit. This better now kill. This better now kill. I hope this kills. And it does. That's fantastic. We're now at 100% HP. Nothing can kill us from 100% HP anymore, I don't think. I don't think, anyway. But it's actually really, really good. Really, really, really good for us there. Usually they go for... Um, oh, because he's not burned straight away. Yeah, he... Oh, gee, shit. Okay. But yeah, close combat still would have killed there. Um, slacking now here. Slacking. Body slam, hammer arm, play rough, slack off. This was a scary one that I was concerned with. And this is why we set up to plus six. Because at plus five, we can still kill with Waterfall most of the time. But guaranteed here, guaranteed here for Waterfall to kill, we're going to click Waterfall and we're just going to end. Umi Bozu living up to a huge standard here. Sweeping the hardest fight we've had to deal with yet. And I mean that most sincerely. I do not like... It has been like... A week and a half between me recording the last episode and this one. That's how long I've been trying to go through and plan this crap. 
Finally, the last Pokemon, the one I was most concerned would come out second, is Salamence here. With Intimidate, holding a power up, Dragon Rush Fly, Crunch, Dragon Dance. It can fly and use fly on one turn and cause some trouble for us. Rock Slide here fucking obliterates this thing. Like, straight up obliterates this thing. And this is why I was concerned. I was like, do I go for, like, uh, Rock Slide or Rock Tomb and, uh, and just risk the 5% we don't do it? But with the situation it's in right now, I'm going to go ahead and use Leech Life. Uh, because it will put it under 50, uh, it will take it down from 50%, meaning that almost anything can kill afterwards. Yes, it's not very effective, but I don't give a shit. Uh, I wonder if it is going to go for fly. Um, it is going to go for fly, so it does go for fly with the power up. Uh, that's something interesting to note. So even though it is not very effective and will do 21 to 23%, it still went for it. That's very strange. Um, that's very strange. Um, but good to know. That is very good to know. That it will go for a power herb using move, even if it is not very effective. Because Dragon Rush deals like double that damage. Um, and given the HP, we're guaranteed to hit KO. Leech Life. Umibozu, let's clean this perfectly, mate. Let's do this perfectly. Back to 100% HP. Wow. Wow. That's all I gotta say. That's all I can say. Legitimately, that's all I can say. Is wow. What the hell was that? That was insane. That was insane. Umi but Battle Armor is stupid, okay? It's time is battle and something, something, something. Give me 6,000 money. Oh, boy. Thank you. I can sense you have a strong aura. Backed up by strong Pokemon, no less. Allow me to heal your Pokemon. Cheers, buddy, but I don't need it. <laughs> I'll be joining more inside. If you'd like, you can come join me. Um, no, we won't join you straight away. First, what I'm going to go ahead and do is we're going to head back to Canalave. And we're going to go for the... Uh, yeah, we're going to go for the catch there at Canalave. I don't think... Like, here's the thing. I'm wondering now. The, um, the, the, the situation is with an old rod or, or with the, with the, with the, um, fishing here. It's a Finneon at 30% or a Staryu at 10%. In Iron Island, it's a Finneon and a Quillfish. So if we get the Finneon, we're guaranteed a Quillfish. But I don't know how useful that Quillfish is going to be. That's the thing. And like... Uh, it's either a... It might be a guaranteed Quillfish. Or we get like a Mawile, a Sableye, a Nosepass, a Rhydon, or a Steelix. And I'm not sure any of those are going to be useful. I'll just, I'll just come out and say it. I don't think any of them are going to be useful. Um, they, they just don't seem to, 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 to really do a whole lot. But um, we'll go ahead and uh, we'll bring out... Um, I almost uh, I was almost very upset that we couldn't bring out um, bring out someone. But no, we can go ahead and bring out Blood of Ed here. Blood of Ed will take the place of Vulcan for a moment. And we'll go ahead and fish something up here. Okay, so back down here, we've got Blood of Ed in the front. Uh, we're not expecting something straight away. I think it's a 60% Magic Carp. It is a 60% Magic Carp, so that's fine. But now we're just waiting for either the Finneon or the Staryu, which will be most interesting. And it is the Finneon on our second try here. It's not a whole lot to be uh, expected there, but Finneon uh, does mean we now have to make the choice of do we want a Steel type almost always or a Sableye? Or do we want a quillfish? And I really don't have an answer for that. I really, really don't have an answer for that. Uh, I almost clicked Seed Bomb, uh, thinking it was Spore, but it was not. So, Spore first. Why Spore first? I don't know. Because I feel like it. So, Spore first. Fell Swipe second. Blood of Ed is such a damn good Pokemon. It's such a damn good Pokemon. It's so good. Uh, so, we'll go ahead and set up Fell Swipes. That will knock it down. We're still only using the good rod because at level 10, it means we're almost guaranteed to catch it immediately. So we'll go ahead and do that bag. Uh, we'll go ahead and... What ball do I want to put you in? Honestly, I'd put you in a repeat ball because it's kind of a nice little look for you. However, I think the um, the dive ball here is probably... Oops, wrong one. Uh, dive ball is probably the best one. I know I did buy repeat balls. I'm dumb. You can just put it in a repeat ball for the sake of it. And technically, 
we have previously caught one of these in another series that turned into a Milotic, which was amazing. So let's do that. I do like the repeat ball look where it's got the little, um, the black with the yellow circle. That's kind of cool. So at least you're in that. I mean, yeah. All right. So we have a Finny on now. That's usable, I suppose. Um, maybe not. At the very least, it t like I said, it takes away Iron Island. And it means we could get a guaranteed quillfish. Finneon, the line running down its side can store sunlight. It shines vividly at night. Let's go ahead and give you a nickname then. Matsya, in Sanskrit, literally meaning fish, is the fish avatar of the Hindu god Vishnu. Often described as the first of Vishnu's ten primary avatars, Matsya is said, described as having rescued the first man, Manu, from a great deluge. Matsya may be depicted as a giant fish, often golden in color, or anthropomorphized with, this, uh, with the torso of Vishnu connected to the rear half of a fish. So this idea of that golden aura from the, uh, from the shining bright uh, Pokemon, looking like a fish very nice sort of calming regal appearance to those kinds of things and that is the name that we will go for for Matsya and they've been transferred over to Olympus but we'll go and have a look at them okay so here we are now then a little Finneon over there we'll go ahead and have a look at you we already know the nature is timid which is minus attack up speed doesn't feel too bad especially since this is a water type mostly a special attacker storm drain power pokemon draws in all water type moves i don't believe that means it also gains anything from it it just tanks them pound charm water gun attract that's fine how are we looking in terms of stats then uh, okay. Well, it's, uh, it's, um, actually not, not too bad. Bit on the iffy side, though. 18 HP, 12 attack, 18 defense, 5 special attack, 29 special defense, and 8 speed, leaving it with an electric hidden power type with 33 power. So, it's a bit iffy. Now, I just have to, uh, go ahead and check. Do I, uh, do I want something from inside the cave or not that's really difficult i'm gonna have a look real quick and see what um uh if there are any changes to uh quill whoops quillfish uh real quick find next Krava fish then let's look uh there is quillfish so quillfish does have a buffed defense um has a buffed defense and speed for a nerfed special attack. Uh, now has Intimidate, Swift Swim, rather than Poison Point. That could be quite good. And it's guaranteed as well. I think that with it being guaranteed, it's Hardened, Bubble, Poison Sling, Tackle as well. At uh, level uh, level ten, so it's quite good for us to take this. I think I don't think that there's a problem with taking it. Intimidate. It's nice to have another one of those. It's always going to be nice to have one of those. That will be our third uh, water intimidate Pokemon. Like, uh, let's look at it in the other side of things. What would I want out of a more wild? Like, is more wild buffed in this game? I don't think it is, but that's what we're going to check here. Mawile, uh, if I look the right direction. Mawile now starts with huge power. Has a lot of buffs to it, actually. 30 pl plus 30 special defense, plus 30 defense, plus special attack, uh, plus uh, to 95 attack as well. That's not bad. Um, that's really not bad. Um, giving it huge power or intimidate, that would be there. But it's only a 10% chance to get it. I mean, we've got one, two, three, four, five. We've got five Pokemon here. That's one, two, uh, 10, 20, 30, 40% chance for us to encounter as a whole. Of that, 10% of that time is going to be uh or yeah i i that's rough like more what i would be fine to get is sableye buffed uh is sableye buffed um uh 
sayable i, if I just do it the quick way, sayable um, e y e, sable i. Uh, sable i comes with magic guard instead of keen i now, and is also kind of buff to fuck, so sable i would be good to get. Sable i and more wild would both be good to get. Uh, Steelix, I don't think, uh, is probably very good, but it has gained a lot of attack. Um, it's gained 20 attack at the cost of 5 special defense. Uh, special attack, sorry. Um, nose pass. Like, I don't, th I don't think it's going to be worth it. So, yeah. Uh, nose pass into... What's the other one called? Probo. Yeah, Probo pass. It's... It's not really any better. It's as slow as shit. And then... Uh, Rhyperia. Like, that's probably not really... It's solid rock or reckless. Which isn't bad, but not the best stats. And, yeah, I think, I think then, like, Mawile and Sableye are a 20% chance of seeing, which means, I think it's probably gonna be the Quillfish. Like, I don't think it's gonna be worth it. I know there was a lot, uh, I, I don't know how much of that I cut out, but me having a look over the stats and things, I think it's gonna be the Quillfish. I don't think that there's a whole need to go for, like, the Sableye or Mawile. Yes, they're both very, very strong and powerful, but, um, so's the Quillfish, to be honest. Like, Quillfish could do a lot for us, um, uh, in, 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 in things. Like, that's just where I'm at. So, uh, let's go ahead. I will also check, I'm gonna check one last thing, um, and that's is in here yes you know what let's just let's just do this one instead i'm i'm i, I don't need the quillfish and I, i'm gonna have to cut a bunch anyway so like let's just go back and forth in here for a bit and hello okay it is a more while this is going to be interesting. Huge power or intimidate, both are fine in my books. Uh, and it is huge power. We know that for certainty. We're going to go ahead and spore. It used Sucker Punch, but it failed. Okay, that's good. I have now realized I should check what bloody moves this thing has, because that's a bit scary. Uh, Pokemon here. Mawile has, at level 42, uh, it will have Spit Up, Swallow, Stockpile, and Sucker Punch. Okay, it shit moves, but that's actually not bad for us, in all honesty. That's actually really not bad for us, because it means that we don't really have to worry a whole lot about it. Um, I could probably use... Ooh, do I risk a Drain Punch? Uh, do I risk a Drain Punch here? I could probably risk a Drain Punch here, um, with Mawile. That's 115 defense. And... Like 115 base defense. Let's 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 pull up the calc. That's the safest option when in doubt. Calc, calc is our friend. We love the calculator. Where is the calculator? Uh, mile. Uh, let's go ahead and mile uh, blank set level 42, and make sure it's 115 special defense. Uh, let's go ahead and put it at zero defense and. Minus defense nature, so we'll just call it uh, mild. Could be annoying. Blow to bed. Uh, the Breloom here. Uh, Blow to bed's drain punch. Uh, at zero HP, zero defense. Could kill, but Sea Bomb won't. So, uh, given the fact that the false swipes did about 14 damage to it. Uh, at worst, it out 14 damage, so we'll go ahead and put it at 80 HP, assuming uh, 0 HP. Uh, that would mean that there's a 93% chance for Drain Punch to kill. Don't want that, so we will use Seed Bomb instead. Actually, there's no point. There's no point. Why am I wasting my time? Like, I'm thinking, like, oh, I could do it quicker. I'm not, I don't care if it's quick or not. 
I don't care if it's quicker. This thing can't hurt us. Like, if stockpile, spit up, and swallow. Like, stockpile, 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 and just spit up could be a problem, but... Like, spit up, stockpile... Yeah, like... Like, I, I, it doesn't matter. Like, I'll just false swipes. Because false swipes definitely doesn't kill. Like, you get me? And this thing just wants to stay asleep, so that's fine. That's fine. Do it again. Woke up. Sucker punch. Okay, that's fine. Doesn't do that much. 20 damage. How much would sucker punch do to me normally then? Sucker punch. Uh, you have huge power. And... Yeah, 95 attack. Okay, let's see. With 95 attack... Sucker punch... Well, it's not 31 IV, I can tell you that. <laughs> it might... No, it's 20 damage. So let's start at zero and work from there. Uh, sucker punch... Oh god, it might be a minus defense... Uh, minus attack nature. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Anyway, uh, spore... And that'll be fine. There's no reason for me to try and test this stuff out. Now, I can do that later. Just another false swipes, and we'll be fine. Gonna get it down to one HP. Just swallow, it failed to swallow a thing. You didn't stockpile anything, Marwile, come on! Okay, it's at one HP now. It used to swallow again, but it's not gonna swallow anything. We will spore you down, and that'll do you, uh, do you a disservice in saying that it was necessary, but it's good to just put it to sleep, so that will work for me. 1 HP and the sleep. Uh, I could go ahead and throw you straight in a timer ball. Like, I'm pretty sure timer balls are absolute best bet here. And timer ball is my favorite ball. But I'm gonna do you the premiere of giving you my second favorite ball, or one of my favorite balls. Like, I'd flip between the two of timer ball and premiere ball. So I'll let you decide. Do you want the premiere ball? No? Okay. That's totally fine. I leave that choice to you. You're fast asleep. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw the. Uh, no, I'm gonna go ahead and throw the last one, just to be sure. Are you sure you're sure? Because it's a premier ball. It is. All right. No, you don't want that. Okay, that's fine. No, it's fine. Totally fine. You said no. I should have respected that. I'm sorry. So let's give it just the timer ball then. Um, Cause, you know, timer ball side of things. It's still my, one of my favorites as well. And let's go for that. I think that's gonna work out well for you and it'll work well for us. I respected you enough not to try and accidentally kill you. So you now join the team. Mobile was caught. Probably the best Pokemon we could have got. Sure, we could have had the Intimidate from like the, the Quailfish, but could have the Intimidate from this as well. Attached to its head is a huge set of jaws formed by horns. It can chew through iron beams. <coughs> well, let's give a nickname to Mawile then. Bakasura is a Rakshasha, a supernatural man-eater in the Hindu epic Mahabharata. He is known by the name of Baka or Vaka, uh, and he is killed uh, by uh, Brinma, the demon lived near the city, uh, lived near the city, and forced the king to send a man a many large number of provisions each week, which he would devour along with the men who provided them. They were eventually set out. Uh, Brinma was eventually sent out to kill Bakasura under the direction of his mother Knuti. Bakasura, this great devouring beast of insatiable hunger, huge maw with which it can um, devour whole. Uh, it's pretty, pretty, uh, pretty interesting idea. And again, swallow, stockpile, uh, those kind of things. We never saw spit up because you wouldn't want to do that. So, Mobile, it's not too bad for us. I apologize as well. I'm awful with pronunciation of everything, but Hindu is probably the worst that I am at. So, I apologize profusely for how badly I butchered that, and I'm sorry that I, if I, if I did. Um, so now all we got to do is go ahead. Have a look at them back on over, and then we'll end up the video there, I think. Alright then, so, Bakasura here. Let's go ahead and have a look at you. We know you have huge power. You're a bold nature, so you are minus attack, like I thought you were. Oh boy. 
Um, that's not great. Uh, huge power. Look at that defense stat. Oh my god, look at that attack stat. Oh god. Oh god, that's low. Oh, that's very low. Suck up, I stop power, swallow, and spin up. I thought. But, um, mm, ha. Huh. Okay. Um. Oh, God! 19 HP, 1 attack, 14 defense, 23 special attack, 4 special defense, and 22 speed, leaving it with a hidden power rock with 48 power. Jesus Christ, more wild. Could you, um. Oh, God. I don't know how I'm gonna work with this thing, but I'll find a way. As with life, and I'll get both of those two leveled up. Next time, we'll go ahead and run through the Iron Islands, and uh, then after that, maybe we'll go to the gym, and then after that, well, who knows? I don't yet. Well, I will by the time this video goes out. Either way, if you have enjoyed this video, then do be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more, and just share this stuff so people know that it exists. My name is Supersonic Blur. You nerds have been a fantastic audience, and we shall see you all next time.